Awesome guys, back another video. So look, I know it's been a while since my last YouTube video. I always say I'm going to be doing a return and just never do. It's literally been like three weeks. But seeing as the YouTubers, the TikTokers event is coming up in a couple of days time. Let's check out all the drama surrounding it. I haven't completely been ghosting LiveTube as a whole because as you would know, if you follow me on TikTok, I've been posting very regularly on there. I'm actually closing in on 100,000 followers on TikTok, so make sure you're a part of the first 100k because I'm telling you this year, mark my words, we're hitting 1 mil on TikTok. And I've got to just give a shout out to Peppa Pig because one of the TikToks i done on The Real Voice got almost 7 million views, like it's a literal madness. But back to the topic in the video, in two days time is the highly anticipated YouTubers v TikTokers event and I'm not gonna lie, I'm looking more forward to it than the Logan Floyd fight a few days back. But before we go any further, let me know in the comments down below who do you think is gonna win on every single fight card and let me know if you're team YouTube or team TikTok. As most of you would know, leading up to this fight, Bryce and Addison completely broke up and a lot of random stuff has been going about since that where random Addison Ray tweeted out double standards. No clue what she's even talking about with that tweet. I saw a lot of people speculating that maybe it's because Bryce has been seen with a lot of girls recently on TikTok and all this, and that when she was seen with Jack Harlow, he for some reason got so annoyed. To be honest, who even gives a bloody shit about all of that? Let's look at all the drama leading up to this fight, because Jesus Christ, there's a lot to unfold. Everyone has seen the clip of Bryce Hall pushing Austin McBroom at that press conference, so there's no point in me even talking about that or showing that. But recently, at the Logan Floyd event, Austin ran into Bryce and Taylor Holder. Y'all little boys next up. You ready? Oh, you ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Get your foot. 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 I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I find Bryce and Austin some jarring Donnies, but I do hope that Bryce completely sparks out Austin. The reason being, Bryce for some reason thinks he can beat KSI, has been calling him out. And I would love the hype behind that fight for KSI just flatten the Donny out. Over the past week, JJ Olatunji has dropped three videos talking about Bryce or like a try not to cringe. And oh my god, you lot need to see it because Jesus Christ, I did not know how cringy some of these guys' TikTok to music leads really are. A lot of people have been saying that Bryce is just a Jake and Logan Paul wannabe. He aspires to be like them. Well, it's a little bit awkward when Logan Paul said this in a recent interview. Um, alright, so at first. I was telling everyone, Bryce. I was like, Bryce is gonna win for sure, cause he been in fights. Uh, he 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 kind he got kind of got that like pit bull like angry like kind of dog mentality, um, and moreover, he's lost like a decent amount of fights. Like he's gotten his ass kicked a lot, which I liked actually for this. Like he's been humbled, um, or so I thought. And then at the press conference, he went and pushed Austin and got dropped by his own push. I don't even know, like, physically how that's possible. But, like, that's when I decided Bryce is just really, like, and I like Bryce, he's just good at getting his ass kicked. Like, that's his thing. Like, he fights, but he, there's no, like, intent to win. <laughs> so I'm going to have to go with Austin. Uh, I'm going to have to go with Austin. Poor Brian Hall, that has got to hurt his ego, that the fact his own idols don't even think he has a chance in the fight. Talking about an idol, if you're this far into the video and you're still not joining Loafers, what are you doing? Smash that red button. Although, to be fair to Austin, he has been marketing this fight very well. Recently, I've seen him getting numerous different altercations, and I think like last week, he done a meetup on Rodeo with loads of Team YouTube. Literally, I think there was hundreds, if not thousands of fans turning up to the event in support of Austin and Team YouTube. It got completely shut down and the Los Angeles Times even wrote an article about the whole thing. And then literally, only a few days after that happened, Austin McBroom ran up on Jake Paul, went viral all over Instagram and TikTok because I think Jake Paul posted some TikTok talking about Austin cheating on Catherine, trying to get in all these girls' pants, literally talking reckless. What's up? <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on with what, bro? Hey, I'm not you know what the f I'm talking about. about. You, but you're the one that started it. And, and, and you made me mad, bro. And you made me mad. You know not to take it there, bro. The family shit. I got you. What you want, 
But what you want? If you, How if long you have want... I known you? How long have I known you? Yeah, exactly. So why are you gonna hang out with my opponent like that? That makes you that mad? But well, you take it there with the family, though. You know better. Of course. Just like everybody else. Of so, course. Why would you do that shit? So, uh, hey, if you want to start, I'm gonna finish it. All right, that's so that's where we're going with it now. The thing with Jake Paul, he's been like six nine, where he has no boundaries of what he's saying. He's doing anything to sell the fight. He's talking completely reckless, and the fact that it's obviously working, he's got like three knockouts now. Pro, everyone's hating on him while still making M's in the process. That's where we're going with it now. That's where we're going with it now. If you want to do that? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Don't start something that you don't want to get yourself into as a man. Bro, we talked about this though. You know that we, we talked, talked about, about what this. though. We had conversations about this shit. You already know the game. If you want to start it, then I'm going to finish it. What, what? I thought we was boys. Uh, me if too. If we're not boys, then for sure, then we can run it up after my shit. After I knock Bryce out, you coming up next. Me, get the security out here. We can run it right now. Okay, let's run it then. Yeah, let's go. Get let's the security out here. Let's run it Create a circle. Let's run it then. Yeah, if create a circle. Boy, if we're not boys no more, let's run it then. Let's run it then. No, no, we'll, I'll fade him up right now. Look, all the cameras. Yeah, hey, it's no. cool. No offense to Austin, but if Jake was to really put some hands on him right then and there, Austin would have got slept in about 30 seconds. Jake's been training boxing for like three to four years, whereas Austin's probably done it for like three to four months. Hey, it's no, cool. Get a security out here. Me and you That's can run it up right now. Worry about training. Andrew, look at me in the eyes. Worry about training. Andrew, 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 back up here. Worry. Get a, back up here, Andrew. Hey, worry, worry about training, training bro. Let me do my I'm, interview. I want to fade good. him up right now. Let me respect my man. Please, I want to fade him up right now. Please come back here so I can fade him up, bro. It's not worth it. Please come back here. I'm not trying to do this security guard fight real. You fight real fighters. I know. I want to fade him right now. You fight real fighters. Jake's wearing black force. Bro. Jake's wearing black like shirts. Yeah. I think he's about it. You're, you're a wannabe Jake Paul. You got my text. No, Bryce is, and that's why he's gonna get knocked out. And you're coming up next. You're copying and you're coming up next. You're coming up next. You're copying all my shit. You're a clown. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Fuck them. I mean, Austin has got a point. Bryce Hall is literally a Jake Paul wannabe, a Jake Paul clone. But only time will tell if he can back it up in the ring. Personally, I feel like Austin is gonna sleep Bryce maybe in like round one, two, or three. The reason being. In that press conference, Bryce Hall, he just couldn't control his emotions. He would get a little aggy sitting there shaking his leg. And I think Austin can remain composed and in the ring just pick him apart. The main factor though about this card and especially the main event, both Bryce and Austin, they've been talking reckless. If they don't have knockout power to back it up, it's going to be a bit embarrassing. Anyway guys, I'm proud of the video. I hope you did enjoy it as always. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. Who do you honestly think is going to win on every single card from the undercard to the main event? Boos away from hashtag loafers in the comments. Follow up my social media, Instagram at loaftube, same as the Twitter. If you did enjoy, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.